um, Pankaj Botwani, Sam O'Byrne, and Mitch Huber. Shout out to Leslie. What a star-studded crew we have bringing this pro tour to tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of fans all across the world across this weekend. So thank you very much for your upcoming work in the booth this weekend. Um, I am looking forward to tuning in and catching some of that coverage in between uh, my engagements and probably when I get back to New Zealand I'm going to binge to watch it as well. So thank you very much for your hard work and also to Ethan Van Sand and the, the Savage Beats crew for all the work that you do behind the desk. We'd also like to thank Logan Bolan for his work on the live blog this weekend. Don't forget the live blog and our socials being run by Vic and the team. Thank you very much. All in all, a tremendous uh, weekend of live coverage in store. Uh, a special thank you to all of our content creators who keep us informed and entertained on the daily. For the passion that you bring in sharing knowledge and excitement of all things flesh and blood, thank you very much for everything that you do. And finally, to our players and our cosplayers, to each and every one of you who have travelled near and far to be here to celebrate this occasion and to compete for over 200,000 US dollars in events across the weekend. You are the realisation of our mission to bring people together in the flesh and blood through the common language of playing great games. This keynote marks a really special and significant milestone for Flesh and Blood and our mission. One of the beautiful things about trading card games is how they act as a common language to bring us together. Transcending the differences that often keep us apart, including spoken language. Fab is already printed in five languages and I'm really proud of that. It's printed in English, German, French, Italian, and Spanish. And it is with immense happiness and pride that we are able to add Japanese to that list as of the release of Part the Mist Vale. <laughs> Japan has a really special and significant place in the global trading card game ecosystem. It is the motherland of many, you could say even most of the iconic trading card games that have existed over the 30 years of this industry uh, being around. It very much is the engine room of the modern trading card game industry and Japan can proudly boast many of the most accomplished players across numerous game systems. And Japan has more local game stores than any other country in the world save for the United States of America. All in all, Japan is a true powerhouse in the trading card game industry on all levels. So it is with great happiness that with the launch of Part the Misfail, we are welcoming trading card game fans all across Japan to join the flesh and blood community and further reinforcing flesh and blood's place as one of the few truly global trading card games. I'd like to thank a few of our foundational partners in Japan who have supported the soft launch of Flesh and Blood over the last nine months with the English language uh, version of the game. Uh, I'd like to thank Keita Mori for his leadership that he has shown on the ground in Japan uh, leading the rollout of Flesh and Blood. I'd like to thank our distribution partners Star Corporation and Nishino. And I'd like to thank the more than 100 local game stores who are already offering weekly in-store organized play for the early adopters of Flesh and Blood across Japan. Part of the misfile is a big deal for many reasons as I've just stated. But as the creator of Flesh and Blood and the lead designer out of the 13 sets that we have released up until this point, Part of the Mist Veil vale is the one that I am the most proud of. So without further ado, folks, let's get into that presentation 
and take a look at what lies beyond the mist. So we're going to run through a little bit of uh, the product roadmap and event roadmap uh, before we get into the stuff I know you guys really want to see. <laughs> and just a recap, and so we've got our big standalone boosters, obviously Heavy Hitters is out there in the wild. We've got Part of the Misfire releasing on May the 31st. We had pre-releases in over 1,400 stores the weekend before that, and of course the world premiere the week before that on May the 17th in Tokyo, Japan. And then we have Set 14 releasing uh, in mid-September. But in addition to that, we have some new products hitting shelves this year. So you guys may have seen this silhouette floating around on socials about a week ago for Armoury Dex, Dex which is um, a pre-constructed, classic constructed Dex, the most requested product by both retailers and fans by far over the last year. And the first such Armoury Dex is... Dun -dun 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 -dun, KO Arm and Dangerous. So you can look forward to KO hitting, uh, hitting the shelves of Armoury Active stores around the world on Friday, May the 3rd. And a really key thing here is this is going to be available exclusively to the stores who are running regular Armoury events as a way to acknowledge the work that those local game stores are putting in to support their local communities. And, huh, it's an Armoury deck, right? Like you're supposed to play this at Armoury. So check that out, May the 3rd. Uh, following off the back of Armoury Deck KO, we do have three additional Armoury Decks which will release in 2024. Uh, we're not going to tell you what they are just yet, but stay posted, keep checking those social feeds and uh, you will know in due course. Alright, moving on, we have a brand new new player product releasing in August. It will be available for the first time at Gen Con. Vision Blood's going to have a fantastic presence at Gen Con this year. Hopefully welcoming a whole bunch of new players into the Fish and Blood community and First Strike is a product that we have designed to be the best first play experience that exists to date for Fish and Blood. Uh, I'd like to shout out to Brian Gottlieb for the work that he did on this particular product. Uh, I'm really excited to see this come out and to be like a, a genuinely awesome tool for welcoming new players into the Fish and Blood community. Alright, let's move on. Uh, organized play. We've uh, just come off the back of Road to Nationals and ProQuest starts in a short order following the Pro Tour. That is obviously ProQuest leading into Pro Tour Amsterdam mid-year. We have National Championship season running mid-year and following up with Skirmish ProQuest which will feed into the first Pro Tour of 2025 and rounding out the year with a little bit of fun Skirmish to close things off. And then we have our marquee events, obviously we head today pro to Los Angeles, we're heading over to Amsterdam in July, and then the World Championship in November. So, we have a very ambitious uh, pro circuit in 2024, giving away 1.5 million US dollars across our range of events. And I would like to actually welcome on stage our head of Premier Play, Trevor Baker, to run you through some of the new announcements as part of that circuit. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you, James. You can go to the next slide. First, let's take a moment to reflect on the start of 2024. We've had an incredible Heady B Hitters campaign that all started with calling Queenstown alongside our once-in-a-lifetime celebrational. From there, the calling circuit traveled to Hartford and Liverpool, showcasing quite possibly our best limited season to date. I'd like to take a moment to congratulate calling champions Darren Ying, Mark Morrison, and Francesco Giorgio on their successful runs during this campaign. With an extra shout out to our first celebrational champion, Brody Spurlock. <laughs> this all leads us to today, Pro Tour Los Angeles, where the best players from around the world will compete over the next three days. After 17 rounds of competition, we will crown our fourth Pro Tour champion. We've seen exceptional registration from players all around the world. 
the Americans definitely have their work cut out for them if they want to retain the Pro Tour crown. The full 200,000 is on offer this weekend, shared across our top 64 players. I wish you all the best of luck this weekend. Coming out of Los Angeles, the sights will turn to Pro Tour 5 in Amsterdam, Netherlands, where the Pro Tour will once again be decided on European soil. Qualification starts from April 13th, so bring your best constructed deck and head to your local game stores this April. All right, coming out of Los Angeles, er, there we go. Let's shift our focus to the calling circuit. Our calling events bring the best of flesh and blood to communities around the world. And I'm excited to share with you some of the places we'll be headed soon. Next, we'll travel to sunny Thailand, where Patong Beach lays a stone's throw away from the Four Points Resort, where Calling Phuket will take place. Join us on our first holiday destination event. You just might need, you just might need it after the tough battles you'll face this weekend. Even Azalea and Vincent can find some time in the sun. Coming off the backs of ProQuest Season 5, the calling marks a triumphant return to Poland. Bring your best, as this will surely be a slugfest. Join us in Warsaw for one last dance before we part the misvale. All roads lead to Tokyo, our first calling on Japanese soil. Lasting memories are sure to be made in Japan this May. Be part of the flesh and blood history as we launch in Japan. National season heats up and the USA will be the first country in the spotlight. I encourage you, uh, whether in person or abroad, to keep your eyes on Minneapolis as this is sure to set the tone for the 45 national championships taking place in the subsequent weeks all around the world. Calling Amsterdam marks the return to the Netherlands after a successful debut with Calling Utrecht some years ago. Write your name into the record books this summer. Now, the next one might not come as a complete surprise if you've been keeping tabs on some of our tournament organizers, but I'm excited to share that the calling is returning to Florida. Join us this September for not just any ordinary calling, but also... Yes, that's right. The world premiere returns to the United States for set 14. A few weeks later, we'll travel down under where Darling Harbor will lay home to this calling. So join us in Sydney as we put another shrimp on the barbie. Gosh, I've gotten kind of hungry after that. Well, for our fans in Europe, this ought to whet your appetite, because why not visit the gastronomic capital of France as we bring you Calling Lyon. It's been a while since that Pro Tour made its European debut in France, and we're excited to be back with the Calling this September. Was the best food of my life. Now, these next two events are a beautiful reflection of homegrown communities. First is one that is personal, very near, and dear to me. I feel so fortunate to have been part of the thriving flesh and blood community in my hometown, and it is quite an honor for us to bring the calling to Portland, Oregon. Brought to you by a homegrown tournament organizer, Fab Foundry. Woo! 
But it doesn't end there. We also have another organizer that will put a feather in their cap. For the first time, the calling will land in the windy city of Chicago, Illinois. Brought to you by MinMax Games. Now this is just a glance at many of the callings we have coming up. There's still some more to announce, but I hope you're excited, especially for the Americans in the room, for quite a robust schedule of callings that we have the rest of this year. Let's talk about Battle Harden. So, we've already had several Battle Harden events to start this year, and announced from here onwards, 18 more standalone Battle Hardened events. You can take a look at the screen there. Columbus, Bologna, San Diego, Valencia, San Fran, Seattle, Tacoma, the list goes on. Singapore, Milwaukee, Atlanta, Bidgosa, Bali, Richmond, Las Vegas, New Jersey, Taichung, Athens, Montreal, Washington, D.C., and many more to come. So stay tuned on FabTCG.com for many more battle hardens and callings coming to you very soon. With that, I'll turn it back over to James. Thank you very much, Trevor. It's an impressive slate of events that you guys have uh, been working very hard to deliver around the world, and uh, we really appreciate that. A lot to look forward to. But now it is time to truly part the misfile and have a look at what this beautiful next set looks like. Woo! So we're going to run through a little bit of uh, highlights before we get into the trailer. So we got previous season started on... You guys thought that was a trailer, right? We can do better than that. That was like three seconds ago. We got something. Like, we got a big one in store for you. We got previous season starting on like May the thirteenth with some early reviews starting from the first of April. So basically, we've got Pro Tour running this weekend. We're going to have a week to celebrate all of the good things to come off the uh, come out of the Pro Tour. So we'll be basically one week of, of post Pro Tour coverage, and then we're going to be into into the the early access. Uh, reviews for part of this well from the 1st of April. Um, of course, it's leading towards that major, major milestone being the world premiere in Tokyo. Uh, Shinjuku uh, district of Tokyo, which is the entertainment hub of Tokyo. It's an incredible place. I really am looking forward to going. I'm going to be there personally. Uh, it's going to be an incredible event. Um, I highly recommend that you get your tickets. Get your packages soon because that, that thing is selling quick. Uh, so do avoid disappointment, book your flights, book your hotels, and buy your packages uh, ASAP. So of course that's on May the 17th and we have the calling on the Saturday which is part of the Miss Vale um, Unlimited, so sealed deck with day two draft. Uh, an important note here for the world premiere, there are going to be side-by-side -side events running using English language product and Japanese language product. Um, when you play the calling, you'll be able to choose which language product you would like for the Celtic portion of the event. Day 2 draft will be using all Japanese uh, product. There will be, we are making sure that the full card image gallery for part of the display will be available earlier in that week, so you will have a number of days to familiarize yourself with all of the cards Familiarize yourself with the card images. There will be some visual aids on site at the venue as well uh, to just support that that uh, you know that the language um, uh, between the two the two product variants that will be available. So look, it should be pretty smooth. There's a lot of precedent in the TCG industry for having these mixed language uh, high level events. I'm sure you guys will be all over. Uh, moving on, we have over. 1,400 pre-release events running in local game stores around the world on the weekend of May 24th through 27th. That's a Friday through Monday spread. And then, of course, the uh, street release date for Part of the Miss Vale is Friday, May the 31st. So, as we talked about, world premiere, 
it's, this is really an event not to be missed. I can't, I can't state it enough. It's uh, going to be uh, one of those magical milestone events for, for Fish and Blood. And uh, the calling Tokyo that we've just covered off. All right, let's shoot along. What have we got next? What have we got next? Of course, we've got a big old, big old check up for grabs at the Calling Tokyo. Twenty thousand US dollars. There's also a battle harden on the Sunday, which will be another two K on top of that. So lots of lots of prize money up for grabs as well as the prestige, which is uh, maybe worth more than the cash. All right, let's move on. Uh, leading into the world premiere, and this is really key for all of our fans based in Japan. We have the Road to Tokyo series. So. The world premiere isn't the place to go and learn to play Flesh and Blood. The place to learn to play Flesh and Blood is in local game stores all across Japan in the two weeks leading into the world premiere. Uh, so there is going to be a whole bunch of welcome events, of course, using the IRA welcome decks, tried and, tried and tested. Um, they are, of course, available in localized Japanese language. And then the weekend before the world premiere, there will be early access to the Blitz decks from part of the Miss Vale. So fans in Japan can go and get familiar with what the heroes of part of the Miss Vale do. The key cards, key synergies, key interactions and so on. So those Blitz decks will be available one week before the world premiere exclusively in Japan. Uh, and that's an overview of the road to Tokyo. So, as I say, a lot of uh, uh, a weekend of learning to play with Ira, the early access split sticks, and then leading into the world premiere. Not sure. Check online. Let's go. All right. And then for all of these wonderful new. Uh, Flesh and Blood players in Japan who will be joining our community, we have set up a brand new welcome page. So, urlfftc.com slash welcome uh, dash JP. So this is a landing page with all of the resources that a new player will need to know to start their journey in Wraith. Um, so please do check that out uh, for all of our fans across Japan. Let's move on. What do we got? What have we got? All right, here's an overview of what part the misspell is. So we've got three heroes, and we have, of course, one new talent being the talent of Mysteria to be revealed shortly. 239 card set, so, you know, good size standalone set, and of course, available in all six languages. Uh, MSRP is standard uh, with what the, you know, the last year or so's uh, releases have been at 109.90 USD and Euro. Uh, and we have some beautiful release celebration promos uh, available in select local game stores and strictly while stocks last. Blitz deck. So there's uh, some hot takes here. We're changing things up a little bit with the with the uh, English versions of the blitz decks here. They're actually coming in a collection box configuration this time around. So. Uh, cast your way back to Round the Table uh, collaboration that we did with the Professor. It had that, that awesome long box that was reusable as a 1,000 count storage uh, system. So you get one of them and it comes with a beautiful uh, Mysteria matte landscape play mat in it. It comes with the three Blitz decks and it comes with three booster packs of Part of the Mist Whale. So everything you need to play, this is really fab in a box, uh, Part of the Mist Whale edition. Uh, in Japan, there will be the traditional configuration of blitz decks, so single units in the display, sold by the individual unit. Is it time, Keegan? Is it time? It's time. Dim the lights. Take it away. Welcome, traveler. You must be starving. Please, come inside. I think we can satisfy your appetite. Anything you like. Intimacy. Or perhaps, ecstasy. <laughs> come a little closer. I won't bite.
Beware the tongue of the snake. Her things shall soon follow. Pleasure is but the shallow illusion. Walk the true path, and you shall see clear. excited for who's here for Zen? Not too bad. It's here for Enigma. That's pretty strong. What about our succubus new? Yeah! Zen might have his work cut out for him. <laughs> That's a pretty pretty resounding uh, applause there. So Look, we're incredibly proud of what we've delivered with uh, Part of the Misrail and I can't wait for previous season to start proper and for you guys to maybe find out and maybe speculate over the coming days and weeks, what the hell that blue thing? What's that blue thing? I'm sure you guys have a million ideas and I look forward to hearing all of them on socials over the coming weeks, what that blue thing is. Um, it's quite special. Uh, what else we got? That's how I feel right now. What else we got? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the vapors. <laughs> Is that it? And it's gonna be the fist bump, the Phoenix bump! They might be. Listen to this room right now. This room is so abrupt. Oh, this war. Our question was world champion. Japan and more so to really embody the concept of what we see the world championship to be which is something that encapsulates the entire world so our vision for the world championship is that it does rotate between the Americas, Europe and Asia Pacific so obviously we had the inaugural world championship in San Jose we went to Barcelona last year and the 2024 world championship will be proudly hosted in Osaka Japan in November so I look forward to seeing lots and lots and lots of you there. It's going to be an absolutely incredible event. Um, and we will be providing more specific details about that on fabtcg.com, of course, in the coming weeks and months. But mark that in your diaries. It's going to be 
an amazing event. And folks, I think that's it. Without further ado, I uh, welcome you all to enjoy the food and beverage which is on offer. Um, I look forward to seeing many incredible games of Fish and Blood being played this weekend and hopefully having an opportunity to meet many of you across the weekend as we well. We have uh, the meet and greet signing sessions running uh, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 10 o'clock. I look forward to seeing you then. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you very much. Over and out.